Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a couple minutes to talk to you about um, what to do when your computer doesn't turn on and how you can possibly diagnose it. So the first thing we want to look at is um, see if we're getting any power to the actual computer. And uh, you can check for fan noise. You can check to see if there's any lights on the front of it. Um, anything that's going on with the, the tower as far as a fan spinning and so forth. If there's nothing turning on um, on the computer, then uh, obviously check just to make sure it's got electricity going to it, that it didn't get unplugged or something. Um, if you have it plugged into a surge strip, maybe it's a bad surge strip. Um, if you've checked both of those, it's more than likely a bad power supply in the system. There's also some cases where a motherboard could be shorting out the um, power supply. Um, at this point, if uh, you're comfortable doing it and you have the resources available, you'd want to get a grounding strap, um, but you could try changing out the power supply, uh, at least temporarily plugging in a power supply to see if that fixes the problem or not. That would at least identify whether it's a, um, the power supply or not. Um, let's assume for a minute that your computer is turning on. Um, you're getting fan noise, you're getting lights on the front. Um, then the next step would be to see, are there any beep codes coming out of the computer? If there are beep codes coming out of the computer, um, that usually means that the motherboard and the power supply are functioning properly because the beep codes are usually generated by the motherboard. Um, that would usually suggest that you might have a bad RAM module in there, a bad video card, or, or some sort of a bad add-on card. At that point, again, um, using a grounding strap, um, you might want to take out one of the RAM modules and alternate them to see if the uh, that if the one of the RAM modules is bad. Um, you could try a different video card in there. Um, if there's any add-on cards that are optional, you could remove them from the system temporarily to see if that fixes a problem. Um, so let's assume that the computer turns on and um, it's not beeping. Um, the next step, obviously, is are we getting anything on the screen at all? If we're not getting anything on the screen at all, um, then it could be a bad monitor. At that point, let's try a different monitor. Um, it could be uh, the cable itself for the monitor. Again, power to the monitor. Um, make sure the monitor light is turning on. And um, the other thing it could also be is a bad video card or bad motherboard. A lot of times the video cards are built on the motherboard and so um, if that portion goes then you wouldn't get any video so um, if your computer does turn on but it's not beeping and you are getting something on the screen but it's not booting into windows um, are, uh, let's start with are we getting the windows logo or not if we're not getting the windows logo uh, and you're just getting a blinking cursor in the top left um, or you're getting a boot MGR error message or a non-system disk error message. Those could be a uh, those could possibly be a failing hard drive. Um, it could also be a corrupt operating system. Um, it's really hard to tell at this point um, which one of those two it is. And um, the first thing I would suggest is you make a backup of your system. Once you've made a backup, you should um, run a hard drive test first to eliminate the hard drive as being the faulty component. Once you know that the hard drive is good, then you know you've got a software problem and you can start um, doing some software diagnostics. And um, that's all I'm going to cover in this video.